Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be editing mob textures here inside of Minecraft. This is Java 119.3. Okay, let's go over to Planet Minecraft, and I'll show you how to edit mob textures. Here we are on Planet Minecraft. Now, this is a free site. You don't need to be logged in or join the site to edit textures in here. But if you want to save your textures up online, then you'll want to get a free account. Once you're logged in, go over here to Minecraft. You want this one right there under tools, it's PMC Skin 3D. This is the skin editor, let's click on that one. Here we go, you want the advanced edition. Go up here to file, come down to new skin, and where it says model, click the drop down list, and then find what you want to edit. Let's just go ahead and do a creeper. I'll use the default texture and create. And there we go, there's a creeper. Now if you come out here someplace and drag around, you can look at this all different sides. There you go. You can zoom in or out with the scroll wheel on your mouse or the zoom controls right over here. Notice left hand side, I can show or hide different parts of the body. There's the body right here. There's the head and the different legs in here. You have a lot of tools in here. You can adjust your brush stroke. You can mirror your effects left to right, things like that. You choose your colors right over here or you can come down here and choose from this little color picker right down here. There's our pure white or pure black right there. I'm going to give this guy a shirt. And I think we'll do a light blue, dark blue shirt. We'll start off with dark blue. And we're in draw mode right now, which is fine. And in the pixel brush, which means it'll be painting one pixel at a time. You can kind of see it right there. And I'm going to come in here and just do diagonals. Now, if you just tap like that, it then paints in just that one pixel. That's the best way to have total control is just to tap into it and don't try painting. It takes a little longer, but it's a lot more controlled that way. And come outside here, we'll spin them around. I think I'll make everything out here just solid blue. There we go, like that. And we'll do that clear around. Again, come outside. You also can fill aside, grab the paint bucket here. And you can then come in here and just click in and fill areas. Normally I'll just use the draw mode though. I think that's easier. You can also use larger square brushes, gives you a bit more ability to cover things quickly like that is using a larger size brush. You see the size right there, it's big square. Okay, that gets that done. And I'll fill in the front in here. There we go. And then back to the regular size brush, which is that one, and I'll get that one bit right here. Let's add a lighter blue in here now, change to a lighter blue. And I think I'll put a diagonal just like that. And we'll come right up this side. Looks pretty good. And kind of match that over here. There we go. And get outside, and I'll just pull this straight across. There we are. Fill that in, then around to this side, and straight across. That's nice, kind of a line shirt there. Let's just do another line right down here. Giving them basically a, a sweater look. And we'll go clear around the side on this one, just like that. And there we go. Okay, we've given them a shirt or a sweater. We're now ready to save this out and get it outside of Planet Minecraft. Go up to File, you want to do Save to File. Now, if you are logged in, if you sign up for an account and you're logged in, you can publish this if you want to right here to Planet Minecraft and share it online. I'm just going to go ahead and save to a file and put it right here in my standard pack folder. And I'll leave the name as is. We'll be changing the name once we put this into a resource pack. Choose Save and that's saved. Okay, that takes care of the painting part. So we have our nice sweater here on the creeper. Let's now go over and build this into a custom resource pack. Okay, here we are on my desktop. This is my working folder, it says pack. And in behind, I have the launcher. Let's go ahead and go to the launcher. And go up here, it says installations. I'm in the Java edition right now. Installations, latest release, 19.3 right there. Click on that folder icon. That brings up the Minecraft folder in here. Come down until you find versions, and that's right there. Open that one up. Find your version in here. We're working in 19.3, which is right here. Go inside of 19.3, and you want that jar file right there. If you don't see the .jar and the .json, go up to View, come down to Show, and put a check right here on Find them Extensions. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab up here, and then right over here someplace, you'll see a checkbox for Find them Extensions. Same thing. And I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. There's the jar file. Let's get that out of the way. 
Now we need to unzip this. It's actually a zip file. So click into the name once and then twice. Backspace over the jar and change that to zip. Click outside and say yes. This is now a zip folder. Right click on this. You want to open in new window. There we go. A couple of things we need in here. First, we need to have a packed up PNG file. And that's right here. Just right drag that over and copy. That's just the dirt icon that shows up in the list of resource packs. If you want to make your own, this is just a 128 by 128 square image in PNG file format. That's all it is. If you want higher resolution, go to 256 by 256 and we're all set. Okay, let's go back over here again and back to the top, go into assets, go into Minecraft, into textures, into entity right here. Come down here to creeper, go into creeper and right there, that's when we're going to be changing. Now we don't need this. We already have one. We see that the name here is creeper.png. That's good. What I do need though is these folders up here. Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Entity, and Creeper. Let's go ahead and make those right inside here. So new folder, Assets. Inside of that, new folder, Minecraft. Inside of that, new folder, Textures. There we go. Inside of that, new folder, Entity. Inside of that, new folder and creeper okay and our new skin goes right inside here so it's back out here to pack let's change the name it should just say creeper.png so let's type into the name right here and let's just backspace over that stuff there we go that's the actual file i'm just going to right click and copy and go all the way inside the folders right click and paste that's where it belongs. Let me just change the view here. There it is. That's all set. Okay. So we have that. We have pack PNG. We're set here. We still need to get one more file, and that is the pack.mc meta file that used to be included inside of the jar file. It no longer is. So I just put this up on my website. Let me bring that up. And it's right here. I'll put this address in the description. Now scroll down. I put one down here for all the different versions of Minecraft. We want the top one up here, 119.3, and that's currently pack format 12. Let's just download this zip file, click on that. We're gonna download that right here, choose save. Okay, we got that, that's done. Right click and extract all. And there's the file. I'm just gonna drag it over here. And we can get rid of this and get rid of that. Those are just those two zip files. Now I wanna change the name in here and let's just get rid of some of this duplicated stuff. There we go. Get rid of that. I'll be editing this inside of Notepad++. It's free. We'll put a link for that into the description. And it's a lot better than using just Notepad. Okay, click into this. And pack format's correct. I'm just going to change the name up here so I know what this thing is. Call it Custom Creeper and save. Close that out. And that's done. We can now build the resource pack. You need the assets folder to hold all those folders in there. Hold the control key down, get the pack MC meta and the pack PNG if you're using the original one or your own, that's fine. Right click, compress to zip, and give it a name. I'll call it Creeper. If you're using Windows 10, just go up to the share tab up here and you'll find zip right up there. Let's now put this into the game. Back over here to the launcher, back to that folder right there. And in here, come down till you find resource packs, go inside of that. And we'll put our pack right here. I'm going to put this like that. Let's put this over here. And I'll just drag this in. There we go. That's all set. And that's done. We can now go ahead and play this latest release. Click the play button right here. And then we need to activate that pack once we have this up at the title screen. There we go. I have a custom title screen on mine. If you want to find out how I did this, I'll put links for this in the description. What we care about here, though, is options. Go into options, into resource packs. And left-hand side, there's our new pack right here, Creeper. Click on that arrow. Brings it over to the right-hand side. That's good. Choose done. And done again. Into the game. It's my main world. And I'll switch over to creative. So we can get a Creeper egg here and spawn a Creeper. There we go. And we'll find a spot with some shade. And that should work. We'll give this a try right here. And there we go. There's the creeper wearing his sweater. There he is. Okay. 
there it is. That's how you can change skins in here on mobs. Real easy to do using Planet Minecraft and a simple resource pack. And my videos are 100% fan supported. If you like this video, if you want to see more, consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll find a link for that in the description. And I'll see you next time.